if you are looking for a power station for emergency or natural disaster situations, this is it. This is the Dynayak N35, and this is one of the most unique power stations I have ever seen or used. The first thing you'll notice that sets this apart, this is not made of plastic, this is metal. This thing is indestructible, has metal casing, even metal covers that go over all of the outlets. Another thing that sets this apart is this will withstand any weather condition. So this unit was sent to me so I could make this video. It was sent to me about three months ago. I've put it in my shed in the heat of the summer. In July and August, it was getting to 120 degrees in my shed regularly. This did just fine. While I haven't been able to test it in extreme cold conditions, this is able to withstand freezing temperatures as well. And this thing is waterproof. Let's have a look at the first time I actually put this in the water. So this Dynayak power station was basically designed to be disaster proof. So you can see with this hard metal casing, you know, if you have an earthquake, it gets crushed. I'm not really concerned about that, but this is supposedly waterproof. And I really haven't wanted to do this because I really like this power station. I don't want to ruin it, but I've put it in this wheelbarrow and you can see it's been raining. I've left it out in the rain. I've left it just outside for a few days. I'm going to go ahead and get the hose, turn it on, and let's get this thing completely submersed. One of the most devastating disasters is flooding and you can be without power for a long time. Now if you have something like this you've got backup power but what if this is in an area where you have flooding. So I'm, I'm going to try to recreate that condition here with this hose, get this submersed. But I want to see what would happen if this was in a flood and it was completely underwater for a long time and you needed power, you take this out, you dry it out, and then you use it again, is it actually going to work? So I'm just gonna leave this hose on. Let's leave this in the wheelbarrow for a while and we'll see how it does. That's crazy. I see water coming out from under here. Uh, don't know what that means, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna let this soak for a bit and see how it does. Well, I've been letting this soak for a while now. Let's go ahead and take it out of the water. Oh, but that's pretty exciting. So if I was in a flooding situation and I just found this and it was underwater, I, I might need power right away. So I'm, <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to open these covers, but I'm gonna try it. And hey, that light turns on, that light turns on. Let's see, AC, yeah. Yeah, it is, it appears to be working. Let me go set it down somewhere and let's plug some stuff in. So I've got this outside still because it's still dripping water. I don't want it in the house. One of the most important things in a disaster situation at night, you need light sometimes just to get things done, just to prep things or fix things or whatever. So I brought my lights out here. Let's try it out. Plug it, I just had water <laughs> come out. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. So yeah, th this is still completely wet. There's still water dripping out of this. I have it plugged in. I have light. This light with this portable power station is going to last me a long time. This could last all night. So this thing, <laughs> this is really impressive. I went ahead and opened it up. It's fairly easy to do. You just have to undo these screws with an Allen wrench, but you'll notice that everything inside is in plastic casing. So everything inside is waterproof. So all of the water that comes inside here, that's totally fine because everything's in this plastic casing. In fact, if this does get completely submerged, I recommend that you actually take this off so you can allow the power station to get all of the water out and kind of dry out a bit. So as as you saw, this can really withstand any weather condition, ice, snow, water, heat, whatever. This thing is amazing. A portable solar panel was also sent to me with this unit. So I have it plugged in right now charging. And even though I typically don't do this for the purpose of testing out this battery, I've left both this unit and the solar panel outside for months at a time just to see how well it does in those conditions. When it's raining, the solar panel does just fine. 
line, as does the power station. I have not seen that with any other power station. That is something really unique with this. Let me bring this inside so I can show you other ways to charge this and how this works. One thing that makes this really unique is there is no screen or display. So the way this works is if you move a cover down, it automatically activates this cover. So this is where you charge the unit. You can see it has a blue light indicating that it is on and working. Now let's suppose you just wanted to use AC power. You could take one of these covers down. The blue light indicates that AC is activated. So you can just plug it in and use it when you're done. You just close the cover. Now everything is completely off. Same thing with DC. Just take the cover down. Then you've got your USB ports and your port for your adapter to use DC power. There's a few different ways to charge it. I already showed you me charging it in the shed. You can also use AC, so I'll plug that in. The red LED indicates that it is charging. It turns blue when it is fully charged. You can also get a 750 watt fast charger. So you just plug it in. And the fast charger does have a switch for you to turn on. And then again, you can see it's charging. Now, the nice thing about the fast charger is you can charge this whole unit in two hours using the fast charger. And in this port over here, you do have an adapter. So you can plug in a car cigarette lighter. And then you could use something like these alligator clips to plug into that. And then you can actually use this for your car battery. I've been reviewing portable power stations for several years now, and this is definitely the most unique of all the portable power stations I've ever tried. This was sent to me by Power XP to try it out and to give my honest opinion. And I've actually been writing back and forth to them quite a bit. They've told me they don't want to give me any input at all for how I put this video together, but that they just wanted to show me what this unit was like and I, I really am very impressed not only with this power station but with the communication I've had with the company itself. It's very obvious to me that this is a company that cares deeply about having a solution for emergency preparedness. My wife is from the Philippines so we travel there very frequently and several times we've been trapped inside the house during typhoon season where the power is out, it's raining so much we can't really do anything so we have no power inside the house and it really limits what we are able to do. With a unit like this you don't have to worry about it not working because of the rain or flooding or anything like that. When you have a power outage you have something like this you can use for your refrigerator to keep your food good or if you need to you could use this for a microwave to heat up food. A power station like this really can make a big difference when you're in an emergency situation. I've been really happy with the amount of power that this has. I'm still blown away that that it is waterproof. I thought for sure when I put it in water that something would happen to it where it just stopped working. But I put it in water over a month ago. It still works just fine. It's been in my shed for a long time where it gets really hot. It hasn't had any issues. Really, my only complaint with this unit is it's very difficult to know how much power you have left or how long you can use it when you're using it. I've got to admit, I really like the concept of just opening the covers and and it turns on, closes the cover, and it turns off. That was a bit confusing to me at first because I've never seen any other power station do that. But honestly, it makes things so much faster and easier. You want to turn it on, you just open it up, plug it in, you're done. Just close the cover. It's as simple as can be. I would really like to see a way where there's more information for what battery level it's at, how fast it's going to charge, how long you can use it. One of the suggestions that I have that I actually wrote to the company and said it'd be really nice if there was some sort of Bluetooth unit in here. So at least you could use an app. You could turn the app on and then you'd have information about the power level. I honestly don't know if they're going to implement something like that or not, but really that's the main area where I think this could improve. Other than that, if you're looking for something durable that always works, you don't have to worry about it breaking or not working when you need it. This is it. This thing's really impressive. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.